Hi guys, this is Katie Bunchoten, the founder and CEO of Certum Solutions here in North Carolina. And today I'm going to kind of stay in the same vein that I did on my last few videos. We've already covered how to enter a actual formal check in QuickBooks Online. So today I'm going to show you how to enter your traditional expense in QuickBooks Online. So if you don't need to print on voucher paper and so forth, then you'll just go ahead and use the expenses in QuickBooks Online, okay? And if you don't need to do that check disbursement report we talked about. So here we are, we're in the uh, online advanced version of QuickBooks Online and this is our demo company and I'm going to go ahead and select the new button in the top left and instead of selecting check like we did yesterday or bill which we've not covered yet uh, we're going to select expense okay and again, just to recap, if you need to go back to a previous expense transaction, you can always hit the back button there, okay? You have your gear, which some people, some of my uh, clients call the flower. We've got the gear in the top right, you've got the help in the top right, and you have your control buttons at the bottom, your cancel button. You can make this expense recurring. This is great for auto debits. So if something's coming out on the same day every month and you need that to just go ahead and post, you can make it recurring. And you also have your save buttons, okay? So we're going to pick on our electrician again today, Avenue Electricians. And we're going to leave our payment account, the checking account, you can make it a credit card account, you can make it uh, several several of these accounts, okay? So, but we're just gonna go ahead and leave this the checking account for now. And I'm actually going to go ahead and pick this purchase order so you can see how this looks, okay? Um, and then you can see that the ribbon to the left has uh, closed now that it's an empty column. And it's bringing our purchase order over and it's saying we had ordered uh, some drywall, but we've got it going to labor. You can tell us this test account. Um, and it's all listed here under the item details, okay? Now I'm actually going to add some miscellaneous stuff up here to repairs and maintenance, say $200. If we needed to mark it billable, we could. If we needed to mark it taxable, we could. You can apply it to a project. And like we talked about, you don't have to use items to apply things to customer projects. In QuickBooks Online, you can apply them that way. But uh, typically you can actually use the uh, category function um, uh, or the expense line function versus just using an item here. You can also assign a class and um, and there you have it. It's very similar to the check function. There's not a whole lot to it. If you have any source documentation, you want to go ahead and add those there at the bottom where it says attachments. Uh, if you use a third party connection like Ledger Sync, uh, they will actually just attach your check images for you if you were doing checks. And then you can put a memo here if you need to. So this one's a short one. Uh, this, you can see where it's linked to our purchase order up here. I'm actually just gonna hit save since we are running about, we're at three minutes. So I'm gonna show you this real quick. You can actually click here to see what the purchase order is and you can remove it if needed as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save and close at this time. You now know how to do a um, general expense in QuickBooks Online. And as you can tell, if you look at our playlist, I've got it listed in the playlist um, under checks and expenses in QuickBooks Online. You can see that if you used a regular check function, you could use that to print voucher paper and so forth and run certain reports that are keyed off of that transaction type. Because when you're doing these transactions or working in any accounting software, knowing the keys that can help you slice and dice are, uh, is, is a major thing to have. Um, so don't just willy-nilly throw things in wherever it fits and it makes the numbers work. You always wanna make sure that you've got a nice uh, approach that keeps things clean and simple. Major fan of the KISS method over here. If you have any questions, make sure to add a comment to this video or send us an email or, or sign up for a free consultation. Uh, you can also please, 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 please like our videos. 
uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm working hard here to give you guys some valuable content. If you have anything I can add or fix or any feedback, I would love to hear it. And I uh, am really excited about doing my next one. So I'll speak to you soon. P.S. Don't forget discount links are and notes are in the description. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye.